Howdy folks. Welcome to Bullish On Farming. Today's June 19th and just moved the pigs to a new paddock. We are now entering our seventh week in the forest. And these pigs are packing on the pounds, no doubt. Compliments of the hog grower. But you know they're getting some nice uh, nutritional intake from all the vegetation that we offer them in our paddocks, which was weaker in the initial paddocks. Getting out here uh, mid-April, late April, um, the paddocks were a little bare, you know, in a forested area. It doesn't get as much sun as the pastures. It takes a bit of time to sprout up. And, you know, when I went on to turn the uh, hose, um, the hose popped out when the pressure came in and we got a nice little wet spot here, which I would have preferred not because I don't want that type of activity close to the waterer. But, you know, next time I top this thing up in about three or four days, I might move the water because I don't really want crazy impact where the pigs are going to be walking up to uh, be getting water often anyways. But what can you do? It's all part of farming. And so this is what this paddock looks like. We got about 80% green cover. Lots of good stuff for the pigs. Uh, just dropped some hog grower in their tubs. And we've been bringing out market produce ever since about a week and a half ago, which is a nice supplement um, for our animals. Let's take a look at the pack that we just left. And there's some lettuce that was brought from the market garden. Um, a nice uh, breaking up of the soil in this one. Uh, spent two weeks in the paddock on average. That's what it is with about seven pigs and the size of the paddocks that we're running here. You can see that they uh, have bent this tree right over and we're probably gnawing on the ends there. As you can see, some of the branches have been broken up, probably trying to knot some of the leaves. I don't hate it, I actually love it. They've broken that branch and pulled it down. And you'll see a bunch of branch and bristle here on the ground that the pigs have bullied. And of course, some is left over from last year's work. Uh, but when the pigs get this big, you know, they could do some real good work. What we're looking for in our denser paddocks is something like this. Uh, more open space. And I'd say about two out of the three paddocks are fine. Or two out of the six. The other four need some work. Such as the one they're in now. But we can't complain. Because if you're getting some sun and you're getting some growth. Then you're giving your animal something. And I always say... I'd rather have my animals moving on the land than confined in a barn setting. Um, you know, especially when it comes to an animal like a pig who has a snout the way it does for a reason to get underneath the soil and root and, uh, you know, um, eat a bunch of the organic availability underneath the soil and then drop their fertilization down onto it. But some nice green sponge to offer this group in the following paddock in another two weeks they'll move there it's uh greened right over and i can't complain you know this is the time of the year where we're right in the sweet spot getting uh could do with more moisture however you know with 70 day rest periods we really do set up our paddocks for success and so another two weeks to go on this paddock yet uh before the pigs are going to have at it and you can guarantee that all this will be mulched up and put to good use before then. Um, and there goes my hose again popping out. I took off the second length because uh, I didn't need that much slack. And this is actually the type of stuff you want to avoid. Because you'll start getting wallow city. I'm going to have to excuse the shaking here as I do my best to... Uh, get in the spot and you know the pigs are just going to have a time with that you know that's going to run down over here and this area is just going to be the bath station and like i said before it's not ideal to have that close to the waterer but what can you do i could move that thing but like i say they're flying through water now in about three or four days oh and there it goes again it's a monday folks um and you know, I'll probably have to add more slack to this hose because uh, this isn't really um, 
proven to work out. <laughs> you know, it's going to be a hot week. We're going to be 25 plus all week. So um, I'll let the pigs have it here. We got tons of stuff to do, you know, bunch of hay to cut. And uh, I just don't have the time to spend another uh, half hour to 45 minutes with the pigs today. Just time to move them, give them a video, and uh, they can smear on their suntan lotion if they want via the mud. And so, uh, you know, these pigs are gonna be going off first one in August. We're planning to hit that 250 mark. And right up until then, you know, until the pigs go off, we want them to be having fresh ground to move to. And uh, when we got into the fall last year, it worked out because the amount of pigs we have decreases as we get later in the system. And so we're able to keep the pigs a bit longer in the paddocks and um, preserve them a bit longer. Because once you pass in August, September, you can't really count on those paddocks bouncing back to be ready for the pigs, nor would you really need them to if you're finishing them by November. Because like I said before, we get 70 day rest periods. So, um yeah keeping the animals moving loving you know raising pigs in the forest there's no doubt about that and uh all the paddocks that we're leaving they smell clean they smell fine and if there's any areas that are getting rank uh you just take note of those areas you don't put the water trough back there you move their feeder around enough so that you're not drawing the pigs to areas that might be uh, may have gotten more impact than others uh, in previous passes. But um, that's the beauty about evaluating daily. Uh, you can make these changes and maneuvers uh, to what you think serves your animals in the land best. And so yeah, folks, good season so far. Cattle are moving, sheep are moving, pigs are moving, all our animals are moving. And um, we're in for some nice rain next weekend. That with some warm weather and sun is what we're looking for. So anyways, folks, I'd like to say thanks for stopping by. God bless you all. I'll see you on the next one.